What's the truth about Spencer Rattler during his time in college? He played at Oklahoma, played at South Carolina, and was just previously named the MVP of the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. The truth about Spencer Rattler from where I'm sitting is he's a really good college quarterback and has a chance, I think, to be a pretty good NFL quarterback. But on this show, we're college football and only college football. So one, make sure you subscribe to the other YouTube channel. And two, we're going to try and approach this NFL draft season from the collegiate angle. And I think the collegiate angle with Spencer Rattler deserves a little bit more attention than maybe what it's been uh, what it's been getting over the course of really the last couple of years. Because you think about Spencer Rattler in his time in college, and from the jump, man, like there was already lofty expectations. He was on that QB1 documentary series and Netflix following him throughout his senior year of high school, and people kind of got their own opinion of him as a 17-year-old. First thing I would say is imagine that the entire country got to see your senior year of high school and from that one year formed their own opinion of you. That's a, that's a tough spotlight to be in. That, that's a tough learning experience to be in, much less to be someone like Spencer Rattler to have all the hype around him with what he was as a high school quarterback going to Oklahoma. Like that's, that's a very tough spot to figure it out in, the spotlight that is. So what happened was, in my opinion, we all fell victim. And I say we all in, in terms of like the college football public national perception of Spencer Rattler we sort of fought, fell under this idea that he was going to be the number one pick, going to win the Heisman Trophy, going to lead Oklahoma to a national championship. Like all those expectations were sort of on his shoulders when he got to college in terms of him being a great college quarterback. But the number one pick hype and the national title hype and the Heisman hype, that all got elevated and really solidified after they won that New Year's Six Bowl over Florida. That was when we kind of started to get the hype trend rolling for Spencer Rattler. And it wasn't unwarranted, but going back to what I said a second ago, the expectations that were placed on him in a lot of ways were, were kind of set up for failure. Like if he didn't win the Heisman Trophy that season, we were going to say, ah, he wasn't really as good as we thought he was going to be. Ah, he really isn't all that you know we thought he might be as a college quarterback. And so revisiting this whole thought around what Spencer Rattler actually is versus what people expected him to be or what people perceive him to be currently, a lot of people in the college football world we remember players in snapshots. We kind of form our opinion versus what's actually true in moments in time. And Spencer Rattler, for a lot of people, is always going to be remembered or was always remembered in the college football world as the quarterback who couldn't cut it at Oklahoma and who got benched because of Caleb Williams and that Red River rivalry. That was who some people just believe Spencer Rattler is. Ah, he's not that good. That's why he got benched. That's why Caleb Williams took his spot. Well, first, let's kind of reposition this whole conversation. Uh, Caleb Williams would have taken anybody's job, short of, I guess, a Drake May and maybe this past year, Jaden Daniels. Like, Caleb Williams was the best quarterback in college football the last two years. That's why he's going to be the number one pick in the NFL draft. Like, just because Spencer Rattler lost his job to the best quarterback in college football, I don't think it's fair to just automatically say, ah, Spencer Rattler must not actually be that good. And I think the numbers going forward for his time at South Carolina indicate that. He threw for over 3,000 yards both his seasons at South Carolina, had a pretty solid quarterback rating during his career there. Like, Spencer Rattler, to his credit, took a really public and difficult situation at Oklahoma and then went to South Carolina and, for my money, was able to win there. And I'm not talking about winning on the field. I'm talking about winning personally for, South, for, Spencer, for Spencer Rattler. Because there was a lot of things in South Carolina that I thought didn't necessarily play to his strengths. I mean, there, heck, look at this last season. He didn't have a great offensive line. The year before, he didn't have a great offensive line. He didn't have a great defense to back him up. So there was a lot of pressure on Spencer Rattler to kind of put on the Superman cape and propel South Carolina to be this you know, great team. And to be fair, there were some moments in Spencer Rattler's career that you point to and say, that's the Spencer Rattler that was billed so highly out of high school. That's the Spencer Rattler that we all said was going to win the Heisman Trophy and was the number one overall pick. And so going back to what I just said a second ago, I think the Senior Bowl and seeing Spencer Rattler create noise, not just in that game, but during the week. Yes, he was the MVP of the game, but even during the week, Spencer Rattler was a name that kept on coming up as a top performer like you know how awesome that is for a guy like him to have that kind of success after all the adversity he's had to face? You know what that says about him personally? Like I just said a second ago, there were so many people online getting the Twitter, fi Twitter fingers out and having their opinion and, and sending it out. Like Spencer Rattler was highly scrutinized after leaving Oklahoma. Highly scrutinized after the QB1 documentary as a senior. And so for him to take all of that adversity, take all those lumps, 
and then have the success he's having right now as he prepares for the NFL draft. I'm really excited for him. I think the way that he's been able to overcome that adversity is going to serve him well when he gets the NFL ranks and also like the the physical gifting for Spencer Rattler were always obvious so like there was always this thought that if he were in the right system and had the right pieces around him and was able to you know have the right uh variables he was going to be successful but I think we got to give him a ton of credit for the the mental fortitude he's had to display to be able to be where he is right now because it would have been very very easy for Spencer Rattler to be benched at Oklahoma say woe is me go in the tank and just kind of have this jaded personality the rest of his time in college. I'm not saying Spencer Rattler didn't have a chip on his shoulder. I think that might have propelled him, but we saw Spencer Rattler learn from his mistakes, both personally, it would seem, and on the field, and was able to have a really successful college career, and I think South Carolina fans would attest to that. So what he is going forward in the NFL, I don't know, but based on what he's done at the Senior Bowl, based on the buzz around him in NFL draft circles, it sounds like he's trending in the right direction. And again, the mental fortitude he's had to show to be successful at the collegiate ranks, and also the fact that he's had to learn multiple offenses, not just to, at, at South Carolina, but just like over the course of his entire career. He's a guy that's had to continue to adapt to different situations. I'm excited to see what he does going forward. Because again, I think his story and his path has been less than ideal. If you would ask him about what he would have liked to have mapped out for his career coming out of high school, but I think in the long run, it'll serve him well. And I think it's a reason why he could be successful when this whole thing is said and done. So again, Spencer Rattler, what's the truth about him? A lot of people would say, well, he's not that good because he got benched. You know, he couldn't cut it at Oklahoma. You know, it was Caleb Williams that took the job from him. It wasn't like it was some backup, no good two-star that took his job. It was the best quarterback that I think we've seen in recent memory in college football. So Spencer Rattler, what he's going to be going forward, who knows? But I think what he is right now, he's a really good quarterback. I'm happy to see him having success so far in this NFL draft process. So again, we will talk about the NFL draft stuff loosely, but more than anything, we're going to talk about it here from a collegiate uh, perspective. College football all the time, college football every single day. We are live tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, as we always are on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, at Jody Paquette. Let me know how you feel about Spencer Rattler and his college career and how you'll remember him, whether it was in Norman or in Columbia. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Going to keep this party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.